Hello friends in this video tutorial series we have cover PHP file system in which we have learned how to make folder by using PHP with Ajax and upload files in that folder by using PHP with Ajax. We have received many suggestions for make video tutorial on PHP file system. So we have developed this video tutorial in which we will see different topic like how to create folder in PHP. How to count number of files in particular folder, list folder newly made folder name in table format with option like change folder name, delete particular folder with files. Here we will also provide upload file option for upload file in particular folder and then after we will also make option to show uploaded file in particular folder with remove file from folder. This all things we will do by using PHP script with Ajax query bootstrap. This tutorial more time to discuss, so we have published this video series in different part, in this part we will list folder from directory. Now let's start learning this topic, this is our index page in which we have include javascript library jQuery and bootstrap library. We will use functionality of both the library in this tutorial. First we want to list folder available in our working folder, so here first we have defined one division tag with attribute it is equal to folder table. We will display folder name in table format with different option. We will use jQuery Ajax with PHP folder display folder name in table format. For this we have go to jQuery code and here we have make one function with name like load folder list. This function will load folder name in table format under division tag with attribute folder table. Under this function we have defined one action variable is equal to fetch. We will use value of this variable at server side for define action of fetch folder name available in our working folder. After this we have defined Ajax request for send request to server. Under this first we have defined first option URL set to action.php page. Here we have send request to this page. In second option we have define method option. Here we can define which method we have used for send data to server. In third option we have define data option, in this option we can define which data we want send to server, here we have define action variable data which we have send to server. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully and this function will receive data from server. This function will receive list of folder name in table format and now we want to display under division tag with attribute folder name. So we have write dollar within folder table with HTML method and under this method we have write data. It will display list of folder name in table format. Now we have moved to write PHP code at action.php page. Here first we have write of statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post action variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch. This condition will check if this variable value is equal to fetch then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write code for fetch available folder in our working folder, 
So for this we have write dollar folder variable is equal to array filter function with two argument. In first argument we have write glob function with select all and in second option we have write is directory function. This code will return list of folder name in array format. Here a glob function will return an array of files names or directories matching a specified pattern and by using array filter function we have filter folder. So this way it has store folder name in array format. After this we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have defined one table for display folder details with different option. So in this table we have defined different table column like folder name, total file, update folder name, delete folder, upload file in particular folder and view uploaded files in particular folder. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write count function with dollar folder variable as argument greater than zero. Here count function will return number of item in dollar folder variable and this condition will check if value greater than zero then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block. If value is equal to zero then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append table code with message like not folder found. But suppose if value is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write for each loop with condition like dollar folder variable as dollar name. By using for each loop we can fetch folder name one by one. Under this loop first we have write dollar output variable and we have append HTML code open and close table row and between this we have defined first table data tag and between this tag we have write dollar name variable. This will print folder name. In second table data tag we want to display number of file in particular folder, so here we have write count function under this function we have write scan directory function and in this function we have write dollar name variable and close to bracket minus 2. Here scan directory function will return array of files in directory and by using count function we can count number of item in an array. This function count to blank single dot and double dot file so here we have write minus 2 forget exact result. In third table data tag we want to display update button for change folder name, so we have write button tag with attribute type is equal to button name is equal to update data name is equal to dollar name variable, class is equal to update and button text we have also write update. Here we have store folder name under this data name argument, we will fetch this attribute value in query code for get particular folder name and in class attribute we have write update we will this name as selector in query code. Same way in fourth column we want to display delete button for delete particular folder with files. Here we have write button tag with type is equal to button name is equal to delete, data name attribute is equal to dollar name variable, class is equal to delete and button text we have write delete. In fifth table data tag we want to display upload file button for upload file in particular folder, so for this we have defined one button tag with attribute type is equal to button, name is equal to upload data name attribute is equal to dollar name and class is equal to also upload. We can get particular folder name from this data name attribute. And in last table data tag we want to display button for view files in particular folder, so for this we have write button tag with attribute type is equal to button, name is equal to view files, data name is equal to dollar name variable, class is equal to view files and button text we have also write view files. So this way we have store all folder name with different options store in this dollar output variable and table format.
Now we want to close table tag, so we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we append close table tag. Now we want to send this all data to Ajax request so we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. So this all details will be seen to user screen. Now we have go to index page and here we have called this load folder list function. So when this page has been called this function will load folder list in table format with different option. Now see the output in browser. Friends you can see when page has been loaded in browser then we can see one table in which we can see folder name with different option like number of files and folder, change folder name, delete folder with files, upload files in folder and view all files in particular folder. Now in next video we will write code for create new folder in our working folder. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.